everybody how is everyone i was so excited i received this um uh, my hair is a mess because i just took off my hat i received um my google hat you guys all know how much i love live and eat around content creating on youtube it was from one of my former software engineers that i have placed at google and many many years ago um, and she knew how much I love being a content creator and she sent me a box of swag in the mail. So I'm so excited to, uh, show off my hat. I know it's a simple little thing that really rocks my world. Oh, oh, there you go. How is everyone doing? Hey, Swan. Hi, BB. Our, 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 our hey, Dipto. Hi, Emin. Hi, Zoe. Zoe, I got your message in Patreon. I will get back to you. Don't you worry about that. Hi, Angela. Hey, Miles. Luca, welcome back. Sweeta, you as well. So, guys, today I wanted to jump right into it, um, and I want to reserve a lot of the time on answering Q&A. First and foremost, I know my audio is working, but I don't want to have to redo this <laughs> because I will be sharing the biggest mistake that I've made, or I should say the biggest failure I've made in my career. So give me a thumbs up or give me a star. That's even better. Let me know you guys can hear me and you can see me. Everything is good. Hey, Adula, Vanessa, Raphael. Good to see you again. Jobin. <laughs> Thank you. Can you say yes, I can hear you? <laughs> I know, right, guys? About this hat, I can't even get them anywhere. I'm a big, you all know, If I know a lot of you guys have followed me for the last, what, two months, three months now, um, since I've started live. Actually, it was since um, since March, about, wow, has it been that long already? Time flies when you're having fun. You know how passionate I am in the space, and I will do whatever I can to provide the best content. Now, keep in mind, everybody, everything I share is based on my experience. So really do take it as a grain of salt and however you like to help you land a job, not just with Amazon, but with any employer, okay? So if we're meeting for the very first time, please on the bottom say new. Um, where, are you, where are you joining me from and what position you're interviewing for at Amazon? What position and team? It's a lot better. So when I do give my response, it's more relevant and I'm not wasting my time trying to juggle things to see what org you're in, okay? So... Um, today's topic actually made me a little nervous, to be honest, guys, because I was literally thinking about it <laughs> last night. Do I really want to do this? What am I signing myself up for? Okay. Well, I look, I'm looking a little bit too bright right now. Hang on one second. Hang on, please. Um, well, that's not really helping the situation either. Um, the issue is I have so much natural light in my condo right now. The light source, I'm still, you guys see that? I'm still struggling a little bit of um, having the perfect lighting and I'm not even trying to be a professionalist right now. So if you haven't already, I know that there's 60 plus of you right now who's watching and I only have, what, what is this? 21 thumbs up. You got to give me some motivation here, guys. I love and I'm pumped. I'm ready to come up here every single day. I want you all to be pumped. It's okay. You could be shy in the backstage and watch, but if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. If you really love my content, I want you to subscribe. You see that cute little bell icon? Hit the bell notification. YouTube no longer sends you an email once a week anymore, but as I'm going live, the intent of playing a couple minutes music is to remind you to get your butt in here so we can start, okay? So, um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, my freebie, my Amazon star method template, let me tell you a little bit about that and it will make sense. I've, <laughs> I've actually created my story on my biggest failure around the star method, my situation, which is a content of my story, my task, which is what problem am I trying to solve? My action, basically, what is my strategies? What is my action plan? And lastly, my end result. And because it is the biggest failure, I also mentioned like quickly a sentence and a half um, what my learning is from that, okay? <sighs> like I said, it makes me a little bit nervous. This is not something that I've shared with anybody. You guys are hearing it for the very first time. Um, I'm still a little sore by, <laughs> by this mistake. Uh, hopefully my previous manager is not watching this anyway so I'm just I just have to do it okay so 
I wish you guys could interview me and just give me all the mock interview questions instead of talking to myself in front of the camera. All right. Um, tell me about the biggest career failure you've made. Tell me about the biggest mistakes you've made. They're all the same. Basically, what the employer is looking for is, did you learn something from it? What could you have done differently had you gone back to dive deeper to a prevent yourself from making the same mistake again, okay? It's not just Amazon, it's for everybody. It's Google, it's Facebook, it's startup, it's like all the company, Microsoft, it's all the company that I used to work for as well. Everybody asks this question and you guys got it right. This is a series where every single Tuesday, I will spend the first 10 minutes to give you guys a lowdown on, I will pick from my, my priority list. Last week we talked about uh, what is the most innovative thing that I've ever done? If you missed that, make sure you go check that out. It's called Innovative. I made it very easy for you guys to find me, okay? <sighs> I know, as you guys can tell, I may have a zip of coffee. I need some encouragement here. Can I get some, like, clap or star or, you know, thumbs up or something so we can get this show going? Okay. <sighs> mm. You know, a career failure, right? You guys know, if I can do this broadcasting live, I am going to expect you guys to put down very quickly what your career failure is so that I could help coach around that when I'm done with mine, okay? So you guys put your career failure down and, <sighs> all right, Holly, let's go. Okay, I would like to share an example from five years ago when I was a recruiting lead at Amazon. Um my task was to expand international recruiting model. That is something that I've never done before. At the time, I supported 14 business categories within the consumer retail space. I, my, my ultimate weakness is that I was so obsessed with delivering results where I have underestimated the type of challenges that I would encounter facing an international, my first international event in um, San Diego. Although my team and I reached out to nearly a thousand candidates and able to put over 30 engineers, actually hundreds of engineers with about 30 plus that passed the, the coding assessment in order um, for us to get on the phone and prep them, making sure that they can communicate fluently in English, right? Because it doesn't matter where Amazon is hiring for, you still have to communicate and collaborate with the U.S. team. The mistake here is that... Um, the Amazon recruiting model success rate is generally about 30% across the board. Unfortunately, we ran into a huge issue of candidate being so nervous where the hiring team could barely understand them, even though I have personally called every single one of them to make sure they can communicate well, but because they were so tense up, it didn't go well. We ended up having um, to offer three, actually two engineers and one TPM with only one uh, that was brave enough to accept the offer and relocate to Seattle. This was probably the biggest failure and embarrassment until today in my entire career because I hold myself to such high standard and for me to fail so badly and felt like I've wasted the stakeholders' time, Amazon's investment in me and my team. So at the time, my credibility was shot a little bit there, but the, what, what I've learned from this experience is to be able to dive a little bit deeper into learning about the market trend, not just the talent, what kind of position that are out there, uh, the culture without wasting the resources and funding for my future event. And because of that experience, I was able to achieve uh, international event and met or exceed my target rate month after month over that. So that's it. It was a great learning experience. Um, it still hurt me a little bit because when an employer asks you, tell me about the biggest mistake you've ever made. If you guys find yourself juggling a little bit, not really sure what to say, most people are like that. I personally have interviewed a lot of candidates that says, Holly, I'm a professionist. So no, I haven't made any mistake. No, that's not the right answer. I'm a professionist. I've tried to not make uh, um, an oopsie but nobody is perfect. You need to think about a time where you could have done better. What is the goal? What is your team goal? If you meet your team goal, great. What is the company-wide goal? In this case, at Amazon, when it comes to any kind of recruiting event, you're spending so much money and so much effort. In this example, I took about 10 plus hiring leader with me. And we all trained on making great hiring decision, technical interviewed, and how to, we invest so much 
energy months in advance and for me to bring home one higher was a big failure for me okay so you guys have to think about a failure for you where it 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 hurts your reputation at the time it probably took away your ability of learning tr or learning trust earning trust from your your leaders your managers or your peers whom, your internal external customer but the important thing is what did you learn from it how did you fix it okay this is a huge part of um earning trust it's also in, insists on higher standard it's also frugality it's also customer obsessions i'm giving you guys an idea this how i just answered it for you guys hit a lot of the leadership principle okay now i wanted to pause here for a little bit and if you need help constructing you should download my star method personal template that i have outlined for you where you can wrap it up in about a minute or less and you can get all of that from the link below in the description okay hello 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 who is here um swan i will get to you in just a quick second uh, everyone if you can please do me a really big favor i'm scrolling down here uh i have only seen one there's only one of you guys who is brave enough two of you guys who's brave enough to share your career failure with me i just embarrassed myself in the world wide web okay this is going to be broadcast by the way it will stay on youtube forever um you won't but my face will so i wanted to provide the authenticity for you guys and this is going to help each other out and to let you guys know that it's okay to make a mistake but i'm here to correct it for you um i am going to do a reverse mock interviewed and i want you to put it on here so i can help you how to critique it the way where you're showing up polish okay so i'm going to start from top down because those of you sweet time check that out because there's a hyperlink for every single thing some of you also asked me about um your your best questions for customer obsession if you don't know what i'm talking about i have a whole playlist called amazon leadership principle and per every single one of those playlists there's four behavioral questions where i have already looked at glassdoor so save yourself some time i have looked at the amazon site all of amazon site i pick up my top two that are highly uh highly will be asked during your amazon interview i also pick two that are leadership friendly the other two is individual contributor so if you haven't already at the bare minimum you have to look at the amazon leadership principle live stream i've also narrowed it down to about 15 minutes to 20 minutes to save you time okay and there are tons of information for solution architect as well um, i'm pretty sure you guys missed that there's quite a few people who receive a job offer like nicole for instance where i said yes thank you so much for coming by nicole now that you guys can hear me let's get back on track uh celine 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 i can't find information about the role for amazon vendor services and that's exactly what i talk about celine it's in my playlist okay i know shaking ahead on my own uh asan you asked about user design role with star if you haven't already i'm pretty sure you have a portfolio during your on-site interview even if you have already showcased your portfolio i would uh, i would also have it handy just in case if somebody asks for an example you have something to reference that's what i said seaman congratulations again on your offer congratulations so much good job good job well done for the, the a couple of you who came by and mentioned that you have a job offer please do put it on the bottom what has worked for you and if you find is it creating your story how is it the star methods is it the playlist which playlist added the most value so you can help the folks who are here today okay and let's go yeah there's there's quite a few vendor management and program manager and tpm in here i talked about my love for madrid and barcelona a lot that is my baby i can't believe my my fat finger accidentally hit that button to mute moving forward i will stare at my screen right here to make sure my audio is moving i can't even promise you guys that this won't happen again 
Uh, Vanessa says failure to engage talent team member to come to an agreement of project object objective. Vanessa, that's good that you are sharing what your failure is. Remember guys, and I read all of your failure. It's good for you to, you guys all have a good first sentence, which is what is your story, but don't forget what did you learn from it? And how did you dive deep into figuring out to prevent yourself from, from the, the mistake happening again? Okay, so the how part is very important. Don't say things like, so now I've learned to uh, gather information from the customer to prevent this from happening. That's nice. How, right? I would say something along with just comparing the data of what has worked out, what doesn't for my stakeholders or internal customers, uh, going to the right decision maker to prevent this mistake from happening again. So moving forward, I was able to Okay, do you guys see where I'm going here? So when you guys figure out how to answer a failure questions or any behavioral questions at all, it's awesome that a lot of people know how to create the situation. That's generally the easy part. Um, what problem you're trying to solve, which is your task. That is the one part that I see people fumble a little bit, but your action plan, the A, is where I see a lot of folks fumble all over the place. You need to be able to condense your answer in a minute or less. And by doing so, you shouldn't be talking more than two sentences, really. And you could do that. Go back and take a look at my most innovative stories, where I've also walked through at least about 10 of you guys in your story and critique every single one of them. Continue dropping your failure questions on the bottom and I will go through and give you my piece of advice as well. Leticia, hello. Um, Nafra, how are you? Kendrick says, all this knowledge being shared and can't take it in. <laughs> I cannot hear, and you, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me now. Uh, Dave, Okay, Dave, before I spend my time answering, I just want to make sure that you guys can still hear me. Yes, audio is good. All right, let's go with Dave. Dave, where are you? That's really funny, Dipto. I hear lips. Hey, at least you could hear my lips. It could be worse if you can't even see me or hear me, okay? And if I have missed your failure questions, please do put it on the bottom. But right now, I'm sorry, Dave, I'm going to go top down just to make sure that I don't miss anyone. Okay. Um, Sinem, Sinem says, I can understand it was very competitive and needed such hard work, but LinkedIn is a super company too. Awesome. Um, Plasma says, can you look at a live chat doing a live stream? The problem of looking at the live chat is when I have a lot of live chat coming in, and they're coming very fast, and I do have a very big screen to monitor. I have to monitor my live chat as well as everything. Basically, to operate the live stream is in one screen. Um, I do have a second monitor, but I'm trying to get that set up because I don't want my eye to be over here. You see where I'm going instead of over here. So that is a mistake that I have learned. I probably should set up a second monitor, but I don't want to lose the engagement with eye contact. So I'm still trying to figure my way around. And for those who's been with me for the last four months, that's really how long I've started live streaming. This is also brand spanking new to me. When I hear the pandemic and everyone's going to get affected with COVID-19 and so many millions of people have lost their job and I'm overwhelmed by everyone that's coming to me that they wanted to work for Amazon. I pretty much, I have like no gear. Um, don't even know how to present myself. I hate being in front of the camera, by the way. I basically taught myself how to do everything that I'm doing for you guys right now as we're going, okay? That's why you're seeing a um, <laughs> little bug here and there, okay? Uh, let's go with, I know, sorry, I know. Who is giving the thumbs up to? I need some thumbs up to to bring back my uh, my motivation. I'm just, I do have the motivation, but I appreciate more thumbs up, even though you guys can't hear what I'm saying. Hi, Ann Lou, thank you. Based on the video gives a ton of helpful information. I have a lot of videos, guys. Everything that you guys ask me regarding your interview tip is all in the video. You have to make the effort 
to look at it. Okay, let me give you guys an example. These live streams that I'm doing every week, I'm spending at least four hours to do, actually take that back, five hours. So an hour before, just to make sure that my laptop is fully charged and everything is good to go. And then I have failure with the audio every now and then because of my my finger pressing the wrong button, okay? Like to edit the video and all that. If I'm willing to do that to help you get a job, why aren't you doing that for yourself? Why aren't you guys showing up for yourself that way? Um, and I'm not sure which part of the audio got cut off earlier, but if you guys are not ready, if you can't tell yourself that you are 95% ready for your Amazon job interviewed, I want you to get rid of the interview. It's okay if the position is filled. You need to push it out for at least three weeks to a month if you can't. Okay, if you're telling me right now, Holly, I have an interview schedule with Amazon and I don't really know how to tie my answers around the leadership principle. Guess what, guys? It's going to take you at least a month to do that. It's going to take you an addition to pass an Amazon interview because of the complexity of moving your story around the LPs and also making it very short so the interviewers don't get bored. It takes two months. I recommend prepping two months. A lot of my customer who landed in my coaching, my weekly mock interviewed is because they have already start prepping for months. When they came to me, all I had to do was to show a simplistic way, which I'm already sharing with all of you guys and how to critique your story around the star methods. That is it. That's it. That's how simple it is. Okay. Do you see where I'm going? So a lot of the customer who landed job offer left and right within like a short couple of weeks, they have been practicing. I, I can tell by having conversation with them. If I'm asking you, tell me about the, the biggest failure that you've had in your career. You shouldn't have to suffer and think you should know right away. And that's how you know you're ready for your Amazon interview. If the answer is no, I'm telling you this right now. Don't shot your foot. Don't shot your, your, your chances of interview at Amazon and wait for another year or longer. Because if you don't get a position at Amazon and you're in the same position or you're not even working right now, they're not going to re-interview you in a year because you haven't grown from the reason why you didn't get the job the first time. Okay? That is the most authentic that I can give you guys. You have to be buttoned up. If you're not, just don't. And if, if you're going to reach out to me on LinkedIn to ask me the same questions, I am directing everyone to my live stream because I'm literally telling you guys the same thing. Okay? Z says, do you guys know if I can sign up for a one-on-one -on -one mock interviewed? Um, I open up the mock interview for my Patreon community. I do have that service. I just have to really look at your background to see if I can help you because I don't want you to waste your money um, in, in a service where I can help you. For example, if I feel that you don't have the experience of, uh, of the scale and the scope, I would just tell you that I can't help you. Okay, so Z, reach out to me on LinkedIn and let me take a look at your profile a little bit to see if we can work with each other. If we can, I'll send you a link directly to my private mock interview. And that's three hour long where we are doing nothing but creating your story from scratch and walking you through every single step with mock interview and reverse interview as well. Okay, I'm doing you a favor. Um, I don't just take clients because I want to know that I'm able to add value to you, especially on a private setting for three plus hours. Naraj, uh, how can you improve product that you like that includes uh, SOS button? Are you asking a questions or this is a failure? If you could please highlight that. Um, Ann Lou, thank you so much, Ann Lou. Um, Ann Lou says, yes, I do have a mock interview coaching. Um, at Patreon, again, you know, I'm very, very careful in who I have invite into there. There's a tier that you can just buy me a coffee, but for me to move someone to any of my platform, uh, I love my community and a lot of you guys are here. You know exactly who you are. We really do genuinely take care of each other. We motivate each other. We share about our Amazon experiences. Um, there are five of them who landed a job at Amazon and they chose to steal, still they're sticking around in my platform, um, by choice, right? Because they're sticking around for the community. They are not sticking around for me and they wanted to give back. Uh, one of them recently is, it's a, it's a, an engineering manager and I was just very touched. You know, you know who you are, no name. <laughs> 
And it's, it's really a blessing to me to be able to choose professional who is authentic and who also show the right type of leadership to help myself grow the community and attract the right people. So there's such thing as a business owner, the right clientele and the bad clientele. I want to make sure that I can help you, that you are also going to blend in with my community before I could just accept any random people in. Not that you guys are random, but you get what I'm saying. Okay. So if you're interested to learn more, reach out to me on LinkedIn. All right. Hi, Sin. How are you? Does YouTube have a feedback or idea button that we can share? Oh, that SOS button. YouTube just got to do that. Um, YouTube in general, as far as feedback, even emailing feedback, takes them a while to get back. I know I'm wearing like a YouTube hat. <laughs> no wonder I'm not. they're not sponsoring me, right? I am working on that. I've actually given my feedback to them as well, just for a better user experience for you guys. But I'll tell you guys this. Um, I, I do feel bad for wasting everyone's time for the first 30 minutes, and I know you enjoy my lip service. I am going to toughen up and put a second monitor here. Ugh, I really don't want to because I am a minimalist. I don't like a whole lot of gear on my desk. I just don't like that. And plus, a lot of you know that sometimes I have a two-year-old, almost three-year-old behind me that likes to push things away, and I don't want him to destroy my gear. I will try it out and see if I could be creative. Um, just so that we can move on a lot quicker, okay? I know, finally, yes, 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 yes. I know, I know. Call me out, guys. Feel free to call me out. I'll take it. My bad. I know. Okay, I am dying. I want you guys to make it hard for me. Help me out here, guys, okay? First, here's what I want you guys to do. I want to hear everybody's failure right now. I've only come across a couple. There are 85 of you at one point. Right now, I can tell that there's over 60 people who are still watching. I want to hear your biggest career failure. Get me excited as a coach. I want to be able to coach you around how to answer that. Give it to me right now, everybody. I will make it for the last time where you couldn't hear me. I have a loop. Okay, okay. Um, mistake going forward. Please, you need to record it while you like. I do record it. I just don't uh, cut out, cut out certain part because when I cut it out, every time when uh, content creator edit anything on live stream, we lose all of the engagement. Let me give you guys an example. Um, for instance, for YouTube to help promote my content in putting it. Uh, putting my content through a lot of you who's new, right? You're, you're minding your own business. And out of nowhere, you see this girl named Holly Lee who's live streaming. That is because there's a amount of engagement coming in and YouTube is really helping advertise. So if I edit every single one of my videos that have zero thumbs up, zero like, zero watch time, it's no one will ever find my content. That's why I don't like to edit. But for this specifically, I will do it because there's content in here that I don't want to lose. Um, and also as a creator, as a coach, I want to show proof that I am coaching my audience versus just talking to myself without any proof. It's at the end of the day for me, it's credibility and I don't want to BS my way through. I want to be authentic and show my experience. And that's the only way, um, I call it show proof of what you know. Done the in Vanessa says done interviewed Friday, got contacted with another company for final interview. Wow. Any suggestion on how to accelerate both companies' recruiting processes? That's really awesome. Vanessa, the things that I talk about and every single thing that I've taught you guys, it is really... Oh, by the way, when you're giving me the thumbs up that you're doing, please give me another thumbs up after I have edited this video. This doesn't count because I will erase everything that we're doing right now. Vanessa, you have to make sure that you are using everything that I am teaching you guys for all company. It doesn't matter if you are a new grad, a people manager, or an executive, the interview questions in one way or another, they're all the same. I work for all of them. I work for all of those companies. Okay. You know, they may have a philosophy called moving fast. Guess what? That's bias for action at Amazon. You know, a lot of them have customer centric. It's customer obsession at Amazon. Okay. I can go on and on and on and on. At the end of the day, it's very, very similar. So do your best and follow the same method. 
Um, Rishab, I just mentioned earlier about vendor manager coordinator assistants. There's so many of those on Glassdoor. I know this because I help a, vend a program manager, a vendor program management, and I came across a lot of that on Glassdoor. All you have to do is go in there and search under uh, interview questions or interview feedback, and there's a whole bunch of stuff. As mentioned earlier, I spend all day, every time I live stream for you guys, it is not a two hour that I spend right here. It is a, literally an all day thing to look back and set up. If I'm willing to show up for you guys just to be here, uh, along with my my uh, my Im imperfection of audio issues, I want you to show up to yourself. I want you to also prove to yourself and prove to me that the content that I'm pumping out for you, you're actually watching it and implementing it. I mean, every single one of my video has something there for you. Okay, I mean, I have a video that that gives you questions on how to create your elevator pitch. That's second sixty second elevator pitch. You need that. You need that to stay concise along with the star method video. Okay, again, I also gave you my personal example. Okay, every single one of my example in the Amazon Leadership Principle playlist, everything that I'm telling you guys, gets where I'm getting that from. Amazon, that is the experience that I know exactly what they need. And guess what? I work for Google too. So is Facebook. So is Microsoft. I know what they're looking for. So you have to really take it as a grain of salt. And if you truly watch a lot of those video and are very stuck with those exercise, that means that there's something in your background that you may ha not have the level of scalability reach out to me, let me glance through it and see if you could be a, uh, po uh, a potential student of mine to join my coaching program, okay? But first, I want you guys to do your, your due diligence to learn everything about yourself before you come to me. Because when you come to me, we got to go. We need to start moving and building your stories and I want you to get a job as quickly as possible. There's no time to waste. Uh, Wa Waleed, hi Waleed. Walid says the best, uh, let me just show right here. Walid says, Molly, Holly, same thing, no big deal. I did many research online to know about Amazon interview. The best were Amazon website and you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Amazon website has a lot of good stuff, guys. You don't even have to go there because everything I'm sharing, I'm getting exactly from Amazon. I actually leverage a lot of the uh, bar race of friends that I have through the years. Um, I, I would ping them and ask them if there's anything new and fresh that I should know to prep you guys. And when I hear negative candidate experience, guess where I go to? I also go straight to them as well just to make sure that I'm not out of date because I haven't worked at Amazon for two years. I did the writing. Oh, the writing exercise and have an interview tomorrow. Good luck to you. Let me know how it goes, uh, Wiley. Reach out to me on LinkedIn. I would love to, to, to know um, your outcome and if um, just overall what, the, what your Amazon writing exercise, what is the outcome of that as well? Because you will be evaluated during the debrief and the interviewers will read your Amazon uh, exercise prior to the onsite to learn more about you. Thank you, Rashi. Thank you to, for forgiving me for earlier. Great, great, Greg. I heard the claps. <laughs> Miles. DJ, DJ Honeybee. DJ Honeybee says, would you say Amazon DSP program has similar interview question? Yes, all of them do. I'm just being very authentic with you guys. All of them really do. I've also helped a, um, an, a, a senior executive assistant um, recently with the Amazon interview as well. And, and the individual also tells me that what I am coaching uh, her is very similar to what is asked. I've also helped a mobile software engineer interviewing at um, Facebook fairly recently. Everything is this year, right? I mean, my whole business alone is pretty new. My experience is not new, but my business model is new. And she also told me that every single thing that we talked about is exactly what was asked at Facebook as well. So the behavioral questions is all the same. Um, generally what I do is I will also ask questions relevant to your background. So it's not just behavioral question. Thanks, Celine. Hey, uh, Mill, Mill, thank you for the thumbs up. 
Kendrick said, what playlist added the most value to anyone who applied for area manager position? The question um, that you should ask is, the playlist goes for all the position. It's not just area manager, but I recommend the Amazon, Amazon interview tips, these. Uh, again, hyperlink. There's hyperlink to everything, so not, you're not watching a 20-minute live stream. Okay, and another thing is the leadership principle playlist. Anything that has to do with Amazon and interview, you should watch it. It's really not that long, guys. When Nuka says what happened in orientation, when you say orientation, are you talking about onboarding orientation after you've gone the job? If that is the fact that uh, if that is the case, you receive an email to tell you exactly what to expect in the orientation. Good luck on your IT program manager position for 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 Jokta, for Jokta. Amazon's orientation. Yep, um, Amazon's orientation have come a very very long way. When I first joined eight years yeah eight years ago with Kindle, I was given a laptop and that was my extent of the orientation. I have to figure out who my business leaders are, my stakeholders that I support, and when I transitioned to consumer. Um, they were a little bit more organized where we all met in uh, one of the couple buildings that's designated to run orientation. Um, you're going to spend the entire day in learning everything about the products of Amazon, which is um, three major products right now. I think four major products. Uh, AWS, everybody knows. Consumer, everyone knows, which is the dot com space. Uh, devices, which is all of the handheld consumer electronic and also the uh, digital space, like the movies and music space, which is, I consider it uh, consumer as well because it's under the dot-com space. You're going to learn all of that, which I really appreciate Amazon for doing. So you know exactly where the company has been through and where they are today. And look at the thousands and thousands of acquisitions that Amazon make every single day. So that's why I was asking you guys, if you're interviewing, if you could let me know what org you're interviewing for, because my feedback could be different depending from org to org. Net two, um, biggest failure, please check this one. I'm, I'm waiting and I don't see it from you yet, Natu. And if I've missed it, I will answer it within the coaching platform. Deb Johnny, hi Holly. I have given my interview in Amazon four times as an ops manager. When you interview four time an ops manager, what is the gap between the time that you interview each each phase? I follow the star method and align my story with the leadership principle. Well, when you have have missed the interview a consecutive time. It's great that you're doing it. It has a lot to do with what is your story about? Um, is it at the scope of Amazon? And ask yourself, the whole time that you have re-interviewed for Amazon, and I'm assuming consecutive years, have you moved role? Has your role or your scope expanded? If it hasn't, then pr that's probably why. Okay? Um, so... Here's a really good tip for you guys. Um, Seaman who landed a job offer says, I've created all my story by the star methods. I advise your video to friends oh, who are interviewing process with the leadership principle and also question that you said to be definitely prepared. Yeah, that's really it, guys. You know, many of you care so much about answering the hundreds of behavioral questions. Why are you wasting your time to do all that? Just hear my voice. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to the questions that matter because if you can answer my top 10 questions, you will do fine for whatever else. If you have 10 solid story, you already know your background. I'm doing it so I'm forcing you to know your background and present it as um, as polished, as buttoned up as possible within a minute or less. That's it. You see how simple that is? In fact, guys, let me know on the bottom. Um, say yes webinar if you want me to run another webinar uh, where I'm walking you through step by step and how to create your story with the star method give me a yes webinar star on the bottom and I will put something together in the next two weeks okay um I'm going to totally pick on someone Raj says I have a loop for Alexa QAE2 I just received a request for another recruiter with Audible for phone screen. Can I have multiple interviewed with Amazon spine, uh, sp spun, 
simultaneously. I can't talk. Raj, here's my advice to you. I'm not sure if the recruiters are playing nice. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. Generally, when a recruiter is having that relationship with you, working with you for job A, you don't want to restart the whole process for job B because the bottom line is if you're interviewing for QAE, the hiring bar is the same. The hiring bar is the same across all of the products and services. So what I would do to the Audible recruiter is to let them know, make sure that you are also interviewing for Alexa and make sure on the Alexa side, let them know that recruiter Joe Schmo had reached out to you for Audible, just wanted to give them a heads up if you could interview for both sides. If I'm Amazon, if I'm the employer or you know, the, you know, if I work for Amazon still, why wouldn't I want my candidate to land a job offer? Yes, I get it. The recruiter want to make that higher in order for them to keep the job. But the end of the day is I want you, my candidate, to be able to land an offer and get your foot into your dream company. That's really all I care about. Okay. Make sure you're being very vocal and very honest with your recruiter. Um, Aurelino, um, if I have missed this, I am just going to say this. Your example, which early on when I was on mute, I gave you really good feedback. I missed a deadline because I missed, in, I, I missed to engage correctly with my stakeholder. I learned from it and now on customer satisfaction and communication. I love the fact that I, I like your situation. You, you're telling me what your situation is. I like that you kind of tell me how you can prevent this from happening again, but you're not telling me exactly um, what is your action plan. I mean, when you're saying that I've learned from it and I'm going to work on my communication to improve, but you have to be a little bit more specific in diving deep. And that's an example. When I say diving deep, you don't have to spend an hour in diving deep. Just spend like 15 seconds. For example, here's what I would do if I'm you, um, a real I would like to give an example of an area where I have failed by meeting the deadline uh, with my stakeholder. Through this experience, I have learned moving forward to have a clear expectation and understanding from my customer satisfaction through uh, communication in diving deep with data, learning what is working with my customer and what, what isn't to fill the gap in avoiding uh, myself from meeting the deadline. If it has to do with areas of the project that my customer is looking for, I would rather know that upfront so that it doesn't drag the product out to prevent this from happening again, period. That's it. That's probably about 30 seconds, okay? Um, Ta Ta Kalani says, AWS engineering learning series does that mean I stand a chance to call for an interview? Well, it's hard for me to say without looking at your credential, Takalani, and knowing anything about you, okay? <laughs> um, Walid, Walid says, let, let all of us like the video, not just setting a thumbs up. Go press the like button. I feel like you're part of my Patreon community. Thank you for saying that. Seems like you know the Google algorithm pretty well. Google really cares for thumbs up because they, for some reason, acknowledge the thumbs up and see it as an engagement. The, the Johnny says, Holly, I got feedback as my story is not that great. I don't have great experience. Does that mean I can't get the opportunity with Amazon? That is correct. If you don't have good stories and experience, it depends though. Because I've worked with a lot of clients who can't even put a story together. I mean, literally can't put a story together. Um, even some of them in my, uh, my, I don't want to call it my Patreon community because now it is my coaching platform that is a little bit different from Patreon. And they had an offer at Amazon. Okay. So a lot of the time is me really looking at your background and me asking you those questions to see if you've actually delivered results. How did you deliver results? What was your impact? Um, 
And what is your scope? And I can get a sense right away just by asking you simple questions. I can tell if you can make it through the Amazon interviewed prior to putting things on your story. And guys, if you truly, I know that there are a couple of you who asked to work with me privately or join my coaching platform. I don't just take clients in. I have to really do my due diligence and not waste your money and your time to see if I can help you. If you don't have the experience it's not going to help you being in any of my services because you need to go get the experience. So allow me the opportunity to take a look at your LinkedIn profile resume very quickly. Uh, reach out to me via LinkedIn and I can evaluate that and get back to you so that we can move forward. And also see, you know, you may not be a good fit for Amazon. Where would you be a good fit for maybe a smaller company where you can gain those experience? Okay. Rajashri, Rajashri says, Rajashri says, um, can we ask the recruiter to postpone the interview, even if it's already, yes, postpone the interview. It doesn't matter. Even if you have a really bad co, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, you're, you're tied in a project, whatever is it that you need to say, if you're not ready I'm telling you this right now, guys, and I'll tell you this one more time. You're shutting your foot in the door with Amazon um, should you fail because you're not ready. You're just not ready for the interview, okay? Naraj says, Naraj, I love your profile picture. Naraj says, I had to talk to my recruiter last week, and she told me that I could do that if I was not ready. She told me it's totally, of course it is. Why would they want to waste their time as well to interview a candidate that's most likely not going to pass their interview? Um, Z, thank you so much for, mes for messaging. I know I'm a little behind on my message, but I will get back to you later on this evening. Thank you for the reminder. Greg, my friend, yes, get rid of, get you guys, get rid of it. Get rid of the interview, you know, push it out. You're interviewed on September 1st. It's just next week, Greg. No, push it out. Push it out. I would say at least at the very bare minimum, three weeks to a month. Let's just say three weeks. Is this your, your interview with the recruiter, a recruiter screen, or is this your initial phone interview with a hiring manager? If this is your on-site, you want to push it out for at least a month. You need to learn the leadership principle around your story very, very well. And you guys know how to get in touch with me via LinkedIn. Okay, um, Aubrey Lynn says, failure as requested. Well, um, I like it, but you need to really dive a little deeper, uh, Aubrey Lynn, on how you are able to uh, prevent on, on missing your engagement with the stakeholder. How? What is your how? Vishal says, I was working on a productivity, let me share this with you guys. Actually, I was working on a productivity improvement assignment, did a detailed work for six different production lines. I came up with a line balancing solution to present uh, for management. The middle management was against suggestion because I suggested reducing number of workers per shift. The logic decision did not work in my favor. I had to quit this project. Well, it's very vague for me, to be honest. If you were to give me this answer, it's not good enough for me. Um, you're basically explaining why you quit a project, but you're not really explaining where is your where's the failure here. Um, and I'm not really clear when you're talking about um, production improvement. Who are, who is your customers? What is significant about you getting approval for this assignment? So that's very unclear. So I would start off by saying the significant of who your customer is. Why is it important to see eye to eye uh, to reduce the number of workers per a, a shift? Why is it? Um, why is it that your logic, your logic, ugh, can't talk logical decision? Um, with work, what is it? So I don't have a lot of content around it. It's just very, very generic for me. And I, I'm not even, I don't get the full picture of what the topic and what I want to get out of it. So it's very vague. I will not use this as a failure unless you revert this. 
Kendrick. Kendrick says, let me make this smaller, guys. This is taking up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now it's just gone bad. Kendrick says, <coughs> you know what? Forget about what Kendrick says. I'm just going to read it out. My current position as DSP, my task is to advocate for the clients I present. Yes, 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 yes. Are you guys listening to this? This is Beautiful. He basically tells me right off the bat who his customer is with the situation. While we were at the hospital and the doctor was asking me questions regarding my client medical history and medical visit due to trying to deliver results quickly and get to the hospital quick, I forgot to make a copy of the continuous medical notes I usually do. Unfortunately, I was able to call a colleague and get the picture for help at the time. Okay. I, I like where you're going here, Kendrick, but the one thing that it is a little bit unclear, well, I wouldn't say unclear. It seems like there's a lot of redundant here that you're repeating yourself because you mentioned medical record um, and asking for help a number of times. So when you guys are telling a story, you want to, you want to not be so redundant. And let me do this one more time, guys, for you. Okay. I'm going to give you the biggest career mistake that I've had, even for some, a lot of you just joined later on. I don't know what had happened for the first hour, but just in case you couldn't hear me, I want to do it one more time for you guys. And this time I'm going to totally rephrase the whole thing where I want to tell you what my role was. I wanted to really highlight what is the objective um, of, of why this is significant to me, what I've learned from it, and how I prevent this from happening in the near future. Okay, ready, go. I'd like to share an experience where I was the lead recruiter for Amazon Consumer Space, where I was managing 14 different categories. Where I have failed pretty badly was uh, being the first time as an event owner to scale internationally because a lot of the local Seattle talent of engineer, technical program manager uh, for the business unit that I support have already failed in our system. And I had to really think big and dive deep with the international market. In this case, I chose Santiago because that's a new, new territory that no one had tabbed. And I thought at the time it was smart to not fish in the same pond as all the other recruiting leader and recruiters. Unfortunately, because of the language barrier, um, I was able to only execute three offers with one offer accept. And that is a big failure in the Amazon standard as the ROI or return on investment is 30%. In my case, um, I probably did about a 5%. So that was a huge embarrassment for my career. Even now, if my boss is watching, it's, it still haunt me until today. What I've learned from this mistake is not only diving deep with the market trend, what type of talent that's out there in Santiago and where are they located at to create a, uh, a centralized event space. I want to also look at the language barrier, the culture. Yes, I've done my due diligence and my team as well as a product owner at the time um, to get everyone on the phone to prep them for the interview so I can hear that they can speak English professionally. But unfortunately, they were so nervous and I didn't understood the culture culture that they never have worked for a big enough tech company and everything is just so small um, with a startup startup of the largest startup is probably about 50 people they're probably not a good fit so that was a big career learning for me stop right there okay so I wanted to address my learning I wanted to tell you my mistake because at Amazon the goal is to get 30 percent ROI and I it was really embarrassed that I came back with one hire. I wasted I wasted Amazon's uh, hiring manager's time and effort. Uh, I don't want to go on and on about that, but if I have to rephrase myself again, I would do it completely different, okay? Last is that I want to give you guys an example where you need to know your story, guys. Even a lot of my customer who came to me from private coaching, I will write down word by word to help you memorize your own story, but I don't want you to show up like Holly in an interview. I want you to show up like you. I want you to take what I'm telling you and critique your own where you memorize it and repeat yourself for about 50 times. 
Yes, 50 times. If you haven't repeat yourself at least 50 times and you're going in blinded to an Amazon interview and you're butt hurt that you didn't get the position, guess what, guys? You're setting you up, you're setting yourself up to fail. And that's what exactly you are doing. Okay. And I'm able to remember my story so clearly because I have, you know, I've done it. I've done it. I've done so many different events and that was the one that hurt me the most, but that was the only time that I failed and I've learned it from that mistake. So you need to figure out an area where you didn't do well. What could you have done to be better? Hey, Thomas, two weeks ago, I'm not sure if I should be interviewing and I push it out for two weeks of obtaining more time to prepare. Yes. For all of you guys who's asking me the questions about your time frame and pushing out your interview, I'm going to give you guys the same answer right now. Get rid of your interview and push it out at least three weeks out. And if you're going to join my coaching program, you know you need more than three weeks, right? to be able to know your story really well. And if you are pushing your interview three week, what you need is a private coaching, not group coaching. Because if you don't have your story, it's going to take you a while to get there. Um, and I do live coaching every Monday. You guys do the math, right? You need to speed things up a little bit. Hey, Emma. Emma says, sorry, let part was Barney's New York did not allow us to tell the 800 units to our customer. So the program did not happen. Yes, that's it. that's a really good um, problem to solve. Remember, it's really important when you guys have your what problem you're solving for, but how are you guys solving for it that let you from your learning experience from that? Brianna says, in my current job, they love when you bring notes to reference. Is Amazon the same? When you say bring notes to reference, um, well, first of all, I don't really know what you meant by that. When you're interviewing for Amazon, they don't really want to see you looking at your notes. Number one is eye contact. They don't want you to be distracted. Okay. Imagine yourself physically going to an on-site interview for your final round and you are like, like this, that you're literally looking at notes. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants you to reference because they want to hire people who can do the job and who are productive and who are smart. So when you're doing that, that's allowing the interviewer to know that you probably need a mentor and someone needs to hold your hand to walk you through. Amazon is just not the right environment for that. Unless you are like a new grad and this is your first industry job, sure, you'll have a buddy to help you come up to speed a lot more, all right? Z says, uh, I don't know why it's doing that. Let me see if I could, you know what? I'm not going to waste time doing it. I'm not even going to show your question. I shipped some EOL leftover inventory. By the way, you need to elaborate EOL. When you're interviewing, you never want to use parentheses or uh, abbreviation. Leftover inventory to close stores by mistake during COVID. Costing company money for return. Excellent. I don't even know what that is, but the fact that you are costing the company money, that's a good example. Now, how are, what did you learn from it and how are you fixing it? Learn to be more mindful of validating my work no matter how routine the task is. That's not answering the questions. What else? What else could you do to prevent yourself from allowing this to happen? Again, dive deep. This is a pure example, guys. Deep. Go, go a level deeper. Kendrick says, I study the 14 leadership forward and backward. Great. As a leader, I found easy to apply them to everyday activity in my current role. And I just need to practice my story with the star. Yes, absolutely. Hey, major minor. Does Amazon give a uh, MacBook or Windows to find? In yeah, that's really funny. It sounds like you already landed a job at Amazon. Well, is she your preference? Generally, um, it really depends. If you're a designer and whatnot, they chose MacBook, but as a tech professional, you have an option. Uh, uh, Metamo? Metamo's questions. I love getting your failure question, by the way, guys. I did not process a material transaction timely at year end. I researched how to uh, ratify and process corrections. I now look at multiple reporting sources to ensure complete completeness. That's good, but I feel like you can dive a little bit deeper on your how 
um, I, I could I could feel that you've learned this mistake and could do it differently, but maybe a little bit more to pump it up a little bit. That's different, right? Um, you know, when you guys are giving your your how, how are you going to solve this problem from happening again? Don't be, there's a difference between be giving a general answer and diving deep. Okay, you want to able to go deep a little bit. Uh, Merle says, webinar, webinar. Anyone else wants me to do a webinar to show you guys? Webinar, okay. Do me a favor, guys. For all of you guys who wants me to do a webinar, I want you to reach out to me via LinkedIn, okay? When you reach out to me via LinkedIn, I will add you automatically into the webinar, and I'll also send you a link so that you could add, um, add the the screening directly into your calendar. Sound good? <laughs> Celine says, very important question. Very, very important. Yeah, I'm stubborn. I thought it would work again. My title was given to me as product coordinator back in USA, but here in Turkey, I use project manager. To be more relevant, how can I explain it in an interview? Well, that's a great question. Title doesn't mean anything. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're at. You could even be in the U.S. A project manager doesn't mean that you'll be a project manager at Amazon because the scope is truly a lot bigger, right? What I would invest my energy more, Celine, is looking at the scope of the job. What will you be doing uh, at the job? Is it relevant to what you're doing? A a coordinator, a, a coordinator of any kind, project, program, or anything, you don't really manage the project. You manage the the pro the I let me repeat myself. The only part that you're managing the project is being the liaison to communicate with a number of different stakeholder or key partner to schedule and to uh, to align the coordination together uh, to execute. And you're partnering with the stakeholders and whatnot in that side. A project manager is someone who's actually a lot of the time writing the specification telling people what to do, holding them accountable and all that. You hear what I'm saying? There's a big difference between a coordinator and a project manager. Okay? So I wouldn't be so focused on it. You need That's what I mean again and again and again, guys. You need to know your branding very well so that you can stand up for your areas of expertise. Like these questions between project and, and uh, project managers and program managers or coordinator, you need to be able to know who you are right away and you will be able to interview for the right role and level. Hi, Kenneth. Kenneth says, what's the optimum time that we should take to answer our questions? A minute or less is what I would recommend. Um, because if... If you're an interviewer, and I've done this in my mock interview community as well, uh, I know you're in here. I know you know who you are. And my my community member actually just say, and I do ask each other to give feedback. So it's kind of like a mock interview or a panel interview with everyone, right? And everyone in my community are fairly senior. Most people have roughly about 10 plus years experience. And a lot of the feedback is, you know what? That was three minutes. I was already bored after 30 seconds. You see that? So everyone even in my community are already hiring managers or authority that have experienced hiring. So if you talk more than a minute and it's not good, you're done. Dave, 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 does Amazon not like if you apply to a lot of positions? Um, I'm wondering selection for few or apply reasonable. Yeah, no one likes that. If you apply for 10 positions, it just makes you look desperate. If you apply for three positions and they're all, all different positions, for example, if I am applying for a program manager, a technical program manager, a product manager, that's allowing me as a recruiter and a hiring manager to say, I don't think this person know what they're doing. I, I lost interest. Okay? Amazon or not, employer likes to see consistency. What are you looking for? What do you want? If you are a program manager and you're applying for um, three different program manager in different positions, that's fine. But don't be that person that goes and apply for 50 positions. There's a lot of those. And as a recruiter in my past life, I don't even look at those candidates. It doesn't even matter if you get got a degree at Harvard. I'm not because it just seems like you want to get the job. And if you're that good, um, if you have such a strong degree and background, why are you trying so hard and apply for every single thing instead of just being more diligent in finding everything you need to know? And if I open your resume, it should speak the environment that you come 
come in from and not all over the place. And Jobin, uh, Jobin and everyone else, um, Sue as well, as well as uh, Ethan, Ethan Hunt, Grace, a lot of you, all of you who's asking for interview tip, what should you do with your interview uh, that's coming up with the recruiter and whatnot, it's all on my playlist, guys. My M Again, the Amazon interview tips playlist with these, if you go to the hyperlink, it brings you literally right there down to what sh how should you, I think I have one that says, how do you train the recruiter? <laughs> I believe I have one like that. How do you manage the recruiter? How do you connect with the recruiter? All of that stuff, it's in there. Literally every single thing that you guys are asking me right now are in there. Hi, Mimi. I have a loop interview for non-tech PM in Amazon devices. That's great because I have so many uh, PM interview tips in my, uh, my live stream series as well. The job mentioned proficiency in SQL. I know the business analyst, uh, likely bar racer on my loop panel. What question should I expect? You know, you guys don't don't waste your time in in trying to figure out what questions to expect. Just spend your time in answering the behavioral questions like I've mentioned in my LP playlist, and that's all you should worry about. If you can answer that, that's your first priority. If you could do that, everything will fall into place. Everything will, okay? As a program manager, it's not your job to code, but you should know database and spreadsheet very, very well. Very well. And everything that I talk about, again, is in those playlists. There is a lot of t tips in there for you. Hello, Luca. Okay, Luca, your turn, your failure. Due to a lack of, t of time trying to consider all details but missing the real need of client and real changes in vision, I did not ask the right questions to the right people. Good, good, that's good, that's self-aware. Um, therefore, I delivered a poor presentation which led the client to choose another partner. Once I got the rejection, the senior management was so pissed off, you could just say unhappy, so pissed off for the time I spent producing low quality material, losing the trust of my manager. Excellent. In fact, I certainly learned my lesson not to be impatient and perform the right research and speak to um, to the right key player. I would just say key player and not use the word right people, right people over and over and over again. You see what I'm doing here? So key player, speak to the right decision maker, speak to the right key player. Okay. This lesson has helped me handle better project within gambling industry to understand clear the needs to anticipate clients' needs. I love it. I love how you end that. I love how you mentioned um, gambling industry to understand uh, the uh, to understand and get a better picture of the needs from anticipated clients' needs. I love it. Beautiful. Good job, Luca. Rashid Rashid. Rasheep, Rasheep, did I answer your question? Say yes on the bottom if I did. The thing is, when you guys says, you know, you missed my questions because some of you guys actually repeated yourself multiple times. When you guys repeated yourself so many times, um, oftentimes I will purposely ignore you because I see your name keep on popping up asking very similar questions, and I have to make sure that I give everybody's time, okay? Um, Rashid, in your case, let me know on the very bottom if I have answered your questions. I lost a deal thinking my overcommitment will pay off looking at the ticket size. Through my manager was convinced with a deal, however, upper management declined the offer. Um, I'm not really hearing what your, what is your takeaway? How would you have done differently to prevent this from happening? So the purpose of your failure is what is, what is your learning and what could you do to prevent this from happening again? Okay. Uh, Sue, Sue says working in New York, my whole career, would it be okay to mention my failure on different company culture as a failure? I should have spent more time understanding the team skill sets. 
that's really soft. Uh, no, that's really, really soft to me. When you guys are answering behavioral questions, you want very specific examples. You don't want to be vague. Uh, you don't, especially talking about on a very high level of different company. It doesn't mean anything to an employer. Be specific and go in, in, in diving deep. All right, Sue? Sunil. Sunil says, I have outsourced an engine test at a third-party location, but during a test, I had an issue with a turbocharger settings. I didn't, um, I didn't account for having a spare part at the test location. Good. I have learned for the next. Uh, I have learned in the next project to account for spare parts while testing third-party location to avoid this of delay that cost the project. I, I like where you're going, but how is this affecting the customer or your end user? I like it. I like your idea. I like your failure, but you should also highlight at the very end how I would end it is. Um, I've learned to. I've learned to account for small parts while testing it for third-party location to um, solve the problems. What is it? How is this impacting your customer, right? You have to tie it back. If you watch my customer obsession very first video in my LP playlist, I talked about every single behavioral questions you want to tie it back to the customer. Captain R924 spend half a million USD purchase access semiconductor inventory from the first OEM where, where the asset sits in India. I underestimated the custom clearance practice for exploring out of India. Good, good. I end up missed out to cut of the time with a customer who brought the assets to, for a build while delay incoming arrived, we had to liquidation. That's great. What could you have done differently? I feel like you, if you type more here, it basically ended. There you go. <laughs> I, uh, it was a major loss on our end from this experience. I learned that I, I, I learned that I need to learn and fee myself more data, risk management, by setting up the expectation of customer and vendor. I like your head is where your head is. I like your head. I like where you're going, but you need to massage your story a little bit better in rewording a couple things. Okay. Especially the last sentence is very messy for me. You repeated yourself multiple, multiple, multiple time. And when you're talking about your learning lesson, you don't want to mention so many of that. I would simply just say the lesson here is to prevent the loss in our end to, that would impact our customer and to free myself from risk management and setting up the wrong expectation with my customer and vendor, I just need to dive deeper with my uh, with my least um, with my research to prevent the delay in access data coming in. That way, I would be able to paint a better picture to save the organization costs for our inventory for OEM, so on and so forth for India site or something like that. I feel like something is missing where you want to tie it back to the original problem that you're trying to solve. And that was missing for me. I feel like you've done a really good job into repeating yourself or what the issues are and what you've learned from that. I get what where the mystic is, but you need to talk about how you're solving it. Hey, N Naraj, move to a new subsidiary from a capability center. My mistake was to apply the same strategy I learned at the parent center. Focus too much on overall team productivity. I didn't realize that people at this center had different approach to being, uh, to being managed. The end result was a productivity drop to 70% for the first two months. That's great. That is an excellent, that's a really, really good uh, a career failure. 70% is really Hi, so I am patiently waiting for you to tell me what are you doing to solve this problem from this learning experience, okay? So guys, I'm not seeing any more questions. Please let me know if I miss anybody else. Um, you know what? I'm just not even going to press this button right here. That button, the clap right here was where it went wrong earlier that I went on radio silence because I, 
accidentally hit the wrong button. I'm not even going to touch anything. In fact, I'm just going to look at the camera and talk. Everything should fall into place next week. Okay. Um, reach out to me if you guys have specific questions around interest being interested in working with me and let me check out your profile and see if there's a mutual fit. 12 30 PM every single Tuesday. I will see you next time. Thank you for spending.